Hi guys, welcome back to the Pride of Villa. Today is the uh, Liverpool versus Aston Villa game preview. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm happy for this, it's because, you know, on paper this game is just it's just another game. But to a Villa fan right now, obviously, there's recent events. Uh, the 7-2 defeat that, you know, they experienced, that we just, you know, flung on them. Um, you know, it, it does mean quite a lot. And to me, it means a little bit more because I do believe if we win this game, um, our Europa League dreams could actually come true. And I was just, you know, it, we're at the end of the season where we can start like, calculating. Because obviously there's the thing online, you can go on, you can calculate like the last few games you have and just put in the results that you think is going to happen. And I've put it up and, uh, you know, obviously we've got Aston Villa to sixth. I do, obviously I've said in the past that ninth, a lot of people are saying ninth now. And I couldn't believe I'm, I was even like, because obviously right right then I was like, mm, ninth was quite high for us. Obviously the season didn't start, but now we actually are looking at Europa League. And it's just, you know, a really good turn of events. But, um, yeah, I was on that calculator and I got us to uh, sixth. Uh, you know, we just somehow got over Arsenal and obviously over Leeds. That's uh, that's another thing us Villa fans really want as well. We just want to be over Arsenal and Leeds. And um, I don't know why, but... I, I really do want to end over them as well, but um, I don't want to talk about Europa League too much because I do sort of believe if we win against Liverpool, we actually can compete for it. And obviously, we do need to go on a mad run, like you know, win all basically every game to like actually get it. But I do believe we can lose around. I think we can lose around three. Of the last games we have now to actually get it and still like obviously we've got to depend on other results that come through but you know it's still there the Europa dream is still there but you know I don't want everyone to have their hopes too high so yeah let's get into this preview I forgot to mention as well me and Ben are going to be back doing videos together soon um, you know it's just the case of what we're going to film I mean we could do like previews predictions uh, you know what I'm doing right now just do like a duo video or something like that so if you're gonna look forward to that please subscribe to the channel we are trying to get to 300 subscribers like the video comment down below I talk to everyone in the comment section uh, you know I like to have a bit of banter with everyone because you know football banter is fucking lovely but yeah let's get into the preview so obviously the last three games Aston Villa have had we've had the win against Fulham we lost to um, Tottenham and we drew against Newcastle, and then obviously Liverpool had a win against Wolves, a win against Arsenal. I'm sorry if I got that mixed up, and obviously lost to Fulham. But um, you know, off. obviously the last game they actually had was against who was it again? I think it was Real Madrid the other night, and they lost three one. Obviously, I'm I'm looking at the positives of that because obviously they've used their best team. I thought that was their genuine best, strongest eleven, and I sort of like that because obviously they've they've all got sort of like ninety minutes on the pitch, and uh, you know should be a bit fatigued when they're going against us. And hopefully, it's one of them. Like last season, um, I was hopeful against Arsenal the last few games that we had to stay up uh, because they just went against Man City. They just beat Liverpool. And obviously after you've just gone on a run like that and you've just put everything into it, you're going to fall against a smaller team like us. I'm not saying we're that small, but we're just, you know, obviously we're heading to the championship. But, um, yeah, it's just, this is how I'm thinking. I do actually believe um, we can definitely get something out of this game. So uh, if there is any Liverpool fans watching the channel, my name is Nathan. The other lad on the channel is called Ben. Uh, if you're liking the content we're putting out, please subscribe. It'll mean a lot. But yeah, these are some players you need to look out for. So Grealish, I'll come on to him at the, the end of the video. Because there's just a lot of shit revolving around him. I just wanted to get out. Uh, but yeah, obviously Oli Watkins, he's on form. Got a goal against Fulham. And it was just the classy goal. Obviously, congratulations to him and his girlfriend or wife, not too sure. Uh, they are expecting a baby, and he's just a man. So yeah, of course I've put Martinez again, best goalkeeper in the league. He could have had a three 0 clean sheet last game, but obviously it was just a minor mistake we had. Um, I put Davis as well. I feel like I saw enough. I know he only came around fifteen minutes last game, but I did see enough from him. 
And, you know, the way he takes those balls off the opponents is literally like a man jumping in the ocean, saving a drowning kid. It's like, he's definitely... Good. Oh, it was just sensational to watch, let's just say that. Um, I'll put Trezeguet as well. And the meaning is, I know he's one of them, he's like old guys, he just comes off form, then he's on form, then he's off form. But Dean Smith said in his interview after that he was talking to Trez and they were talking about last season because obviously Trez yeah, was one of the main, main reasons we stayed up because obviously he had, a goal, he had two goals against Crystal Palace and he had one against Arsenal and uh, he's the key to staying up. So I do feel like because he's, he was talking about uh, the last so so what games he was like, on form and that, I do believe he is definitely going to keep his form up. Not to mention though, in the international break, he was spending his spare time with Mo Salah. So, you know, obviously Mo Salah is one of the best players in the world. So, obviously, he's obviously done there. He's took something from it and he's just scored two brilliant goals against Fulham. So, I do feel like his form will stay on for a bit and hopefully he can actually do something against Liverpool. Um, I'll put Triara as well. You know, obviously, the, I think he was one of the stronger players in the first 80 minutes of that game. Um, you know, obviously, no one really did much, but I thought he one of, was one of the players that stood out. And then I put McGinn, and if McGinn is in the number 10 role, and he was, you know, he plays against how he did against Fulham, I, I believe, you know, he could actually get an assist or even a goal this time. Hopefully he does, because I did see more of him from that game, to be honest, if he is in the number 10 role. But of course, for us Villa fans, you know, players we need to look out for, Mo Salah, Marno, we didn't play against him when we won 7-2, so obviously that is another threat we need to keep in mind. Uh, Firmino, I thought he was, you know, or a player, I think. Uh, Diogo Jota, obviously coming to some recent form, recent games, you know, in the Premier League. I think he got two against Arsenal and then one against Wolves, his old team. So, obviously, we need to, like, somehow try to keep him quiet because, obviously, he's just going to want to pipe up. Um, I'll put Alisson as well. We didn't, you know, that, that's another thing. Last game that we had against Liverpool in the Premier League, we had, oh, I forgot his name. He was their number two goalkeeper, but obviously we didn't have Alisson. Because he was injured at the time, so you know it's a different goalkeeper we're going to be against now. And I've got Trent Alexander Arnold. Um, you know, it's, I've not really seen much of him because I think he's been a bit quiet right now. But you know, he's he's obviously a big player, but they are they're all off form at the minute. Like, I don't really know what happened at Liverpool. Like, I am going to be doing a video soon, and uh, I think I'm going to wait until the season's over for why Liverpool dropped. And why we were the reasons for it. So for the segment everyone has been waiting to see from this video. My score prediction. And I, you know, it's, it's really hard to say. But I've gone with my head. And I've gone 7-2 Villa. I believe we're going to get 7 goals. They're going to score 2. And yeah, we're going to win. Obviously I'm joking. But imagine if we did... You know, if we actually did score seven two again, so I mean that is a bit concerning if you ask me. Um, but I am going with this purely from what I saw from last game. If we stick to a four four two, I do sort of think we should start four three three because everyone studies our four three three. So you know, we've got we just got to go off that Liverpool study as well. Um, we, stood, we go for a 4 3 3 to start, and then I think the second half we should go 4 4 2 and um, just do what we did last game basically, but just do it a bit sooner. And I am going to go with a 2 1 win to the Villa. I do believe we're going to keep their bad run at Anfield going for, I think it would be a seventh consecutive defeat at home for them. And I do believe. They'll score first, it could be Mane, whoever, um, they'll think that, you know, the game's over. Because they do believe when they've, you know, when they've scored one goal, they can just hold on to it. But it's just not the case in the Premier League. And uh, I think we'll, the, the second half, we'll just, you know, go all out. And goal scorers, I'm going to just stick my head up and say Trezzy guy's going to get one. And I'm going to go with Ollie Watkins. And uh, yeah, that's going to be my score prediction. I know I was going to talk about Grealish, but I'm going to keep that for another video because... I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I'm, I've got mixed feelings. It's like, I understand that he was injured for the last game. Um, obviously, I'm going to be a bit pissed off because obviously in the interview, they did say he'll be back for it. But I can't really say anything because 
he was injured after the interview. So, you know, if everyone's giving shit uh, to Dean, please don't give him any shit. He is our gaffer. He is the man who's going to get us into the Europa League if we do actually want to go there still. Because, obviously, we might just be selling for top 10. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video, guys. Please subscribe. Get us to fringe of subscribers. We really, really want to get there. Uh, you know, comment, like, do whatever you want. Just, just get the channel tanking. So, yeah, up the villa with a pride villa. We'll see you in the next video.